Cap like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo, cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope, chop trees with the Draco. Draco on the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. What's up? What's cracking like on YouTube? It's your girl Thursday and I'm back with another video, curly whoosh. And y'all see, I got, I had to switch it up a little bit. I always be in the bathroom when I have the girls. I had to switch it up a little bit. Anyways, welcome if you're new here. Are you new here? Yeah. <laughs> I need to stay on TikTok. Welcome back. If you know, you are already in the little whoop de -woo. So today we're gonna be going over my unpopular opinions and I just feel like I've been seeing this video around, you know, it's been trending or whatnot, but I just feel like I had to add in my little two cent that was really unnecessary, you know, because what is it? I had to add in my little two cent, y'all know the eye. I had to add in my little two cent. And we ain't even gonna do too much with it, not too much. We're just gonna get right into the video. Number okay. one, if you wanna be like Jada or Ari, you're a goofy you're a goofy that's that like you're a goofy and i say this because a lot of people look up to them but i feel like they really just looking up to what they don't know exactly what like if you get what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you don't you don't i mean i don't really know how to explain it but like if you're gonna not even look up to them like okay it's okay for the girls to look up to them i guess but i feel like if anything really really you should be inspired by certain things that they do or how they move like that like jenna she cool boom ma'am i don't look up to her but i am inspired by this one thing that she always says she'll be like everything you do move with grace period i fuck with it moving on <clears throat> number two in this generation most of the dark skins be the real colorist. Like, what? If you got a problem with somebody or you will not fuck with somebody just because of their color, you don't like their color, of their skin complexion, you're a colorist and you need to find God. You need to seek help for real because it just mind boggles me and I, I don't understand it's giving confusion and then it being the dark skin that's what give me you don't even be the light skins really bash the dark skins or you know like it be the dark skins saying like I can't fuck with dark skin females because they're dark skin but you're dark skin I don't understand so what if somebody said that to you? Number three, y'all. I see this real heavily on TikTok. Most of the time it's on TikTok, but y'all need to stop asking for tutorials that y'all do not have real intentions on doing yourself. What do you need a tutorial for? Like you just wanna watch just cause? Like I don't know, I just find that really weird. I find that really strange. Y'all don't even have be having intentions on really doing it yourself for a tutorial y'all want a tutorial how i brush my teeth in the morning you want me to do that i understand okay yeah it is like that really comes along with people that's really up and ranking on social media is that y'all be like i need a tutorial i'm beating i need a tutorial i need to know i need to <laughs> Calm down. Okay, number four. Gen Z is obsessed with social media. It's crazy. It's annoying. It's weird. Why is a generation obsessed with social media? Like, I will never understand. It's like, I'm doing y'all live for social media. You take away my phone. And they don't know what to do with themselves because there's like, I need to go on Instagram. I need to go. Same thing. Like, it's just like a fiend. Jeez, don't have no real life. Clearly. And it's weird. Number five. The phrases, it's giving blank. It's the 
fight for me. And the, okay, period is cool, but when y'all be like, period! No. No, no, no. You need to drop it from your vocabulary. Please. Please. <sighs> when it comes down to number six, y'all, I feel like this generation does not read. Y'all don't read enough. Y'all need to read some books. Y'all need to... All I can say is read some books because, like, y'all need to read some books. But I feel like y'all don't read, and this is the reason why y'all be sounding dumb on social media. And that's that. I said what I said. You need to read. Number seven, y'all. Nobody in this generation wants to work a job. Including me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's facts. I don't have nothing to say about it, but it's facts. I don't know if it's sad or what, but definitely facts. If you think it's facts, leave a kite. If you think it's facts, leave a kite. Like this video right now if you think that's facts. Okay, when it comes down to number eight, I feel like y'all need to stop bashing a girly who wears synthetic wigs. Especially if them synthetic wigs is looking good, honey, cause what? Of course you know it's synthetic cause you just know what synthetic hair look like and you just look into your heart and not major your own business that pays you. But at the end of the day, y'all need to leave a girl alone as wearing synthetic wear cause I mean, Whatever floats your boats, girl, okay? If you one of them strictly human hair, that's good for you. That's good for you. That's good for you. Everybody's not like that. Ain't nothing wrong with human hair. Of course, human hair is better. But there's also nothing wrong with synthetic weave also. So, mind your business. Okay, number nine. I feel like it too... To a certain extent, to a certain extent, everybody's situation varies, but I feel like it is okay to be cheated on and go back to that person, you know? Not like, oh, they just cheat on you, they just shit on you, you know, blah, blah, blah. If y'all able to work it out and work it, you know, if y'all able to work it out within yourselves and your relationship and have an understanding, you know, blah, blah, move forward, whoop de whoop, and you love this person, it's okay to move forward. Y'all think, oh, once a motherfucker mess up one time, not even mess up, but, you know, cheating is extreme, but they should just leave them and let them, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let them, let them be. Let them be. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Especially if it's a bag. It's okay. Number 10. Number 10. This generation is overly obsessive with toxicity it's not okay it's not okay y'all wanting y'all liking a girl blowing up to your house throwing the bricks at your car busting out your windows beating up the girl you in there cheating with da -da -da, whoop -de -whoop, blowing up your phone break the phone blowing up your mama's phone no Y'all be liking that. Y'all be liking that too. Y'all be wanting a motherfucker to hit on y'all. Y'all like being beat on? Oh, wait. I, I, did, I miss, did I miss something? Did I miss something? Because, baby, you got one time to put your hands on me and it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be. It's going to be a problem. That's all I know. It's going to be a problem. So. That is the weirdest shit ever to me. It's weird. Y'all are weird. And if you really are okay with allowing that much toxicity in your life, well, girl, you need to seek help, find God, figure out your purpose. Number 11, 
y'all need to stop telling any and everybody to start a business. Hey, can somebody have a hobby? Can it be a hobby? Can it just be a little side thing? Why it gotta be in the government's books? And then y'all be telling people to start a business, but how about y'all provide them with a successful business plan and step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this business run and operate successfully. Cause I don't feel about this is gonna time. What's going on? No. You start a business. How about that? You start a business. Like, stop saying it, please. Number 12, and I feel like this is more for like the high school girlies, really, really. We really used to downplay, I say used to because when I was back in high school, I used to think the same thing, but we used to downplay females who have majority male friends, like, oh, they are HO3 or whatever. And, but studies shows Women who have majority male friends are more happier than life than women who have majority female friends. So, money's the business that pays you. And, yeah. And I'm really starting to learn myself, like, having more male friends is cool. When it's genuine male friends, genuine male friends that they ain't trying to, you know, sneak a pig in, you know, unbutton, browse dazzle, you know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If you follow the shade of room and etc you are messy and you like drama period the shade room is beyond messy they be doing what they doing and you following because you want the take a break drink some h2o walk your dog take a walk if you follow the shit room, you're messy because you don't like that stuff. You don't follow people just because you follow because you like that stuff. And yeah, it's a no for me. Ooh, some of y'all might be mad at me for this, but I don't care. If you're a black woman and you don't know how to braid, you're a disappointment. Because why don't you know how to braid? Why do you think it's okay? To not know how to braid. Like, girl, you can't keep twisting your daughter's hair. You tired of spending all that money on a girl to get her hair done. But you can't do her hair for free 99 <laughs> I never said it. I don't understand. I feel like this is a necessity. And if your mom didn't teach you how to braid, you probably should ask your mom how to braid. Usually, I think that's how it works. You know, we just grow up and we're interested in braiding. You know, eventually we want to do our own hair, you know. And we're like, you know, mom teaches me how to braid. And I'm going to be like, okay, I'll teach you how to braid, girl. If your mom don't know how to braid, you need to go talk to your mama and figure out why she don't know how to braid and figure out why her mama didn't teach her how to braid. Yeah. Number 15, I feel like everybody should have a BBO. I might be biased because I won't win, but I'm just saying. <laughs> if you, if that's what you want, if that's what Flo Tivo, get the BBL girl, do your thing, girl, boy, whoever. If you want the BBL, get the BBL. We need to, not even we, y'all, <laughs> y'all need to stop BBL shaming. Like, there's nothing wrong with having a BBL. It's not like, oh, we're getting a butt implant. I'm getting, I'm putting plastic in my butt. No, it's just a little moving, moving here to here, moving, moving here to here. It's an enhancement. I feel like a video is literally equal to makeup. It make you look good. You feel like it make you feel good inside. You feel like you're the shit. It ain't nothing but a body enhancement. Like, y'all be doing too much about them BBLs. Like, if the girl, if all the IG models want to have an IG model body, let them have the body, yaddy, 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 yaddy that they want. Number 16, when it comes down to the LGBTQ, TPSD, you know, I don't really know. 
I just feel like society needs to mind your business. If you see, and I feel like really, really more on the male side because I feel like males get it way harder than the females. If you see a dude in the store with his nails and his wig, you know, he got his press ons on, girl, he got his lashes on. Mind your business. The dude is happy. Let him live. Okay? Let the dude live. Like, it's literally not bothering you. It's not affecting you. You would have your opinion. But your opinion should not matter about someone else's appearance. Because it's not, it's not to please you. It's to please them. And that's what I said. Number 17. I feel like... It is okay to cop chase. Dot, dot, dot. To a certain extent. Dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to give y'all a prime example. Okay, okay. Let's, yeah. We have all used Jada and Ari's name. But to a certain extent. I feel like y'all can use their name to a certain extent. Because of course... We will use their name for views and attention. And I feel like that is really cloud chasing because we, if I didn't see Jada's name or Ari's name in the title, I probably wouldn't go watch this video. But, you know, since I did, I'm watching the video. So. But that's it. Like, don't do too much with it, though. It's okay to cloud chase, but like I said, to a certain extent, not too much, though not too much number 18 of my unpopular opinions i feel like kids should not be allowed to use the internet until they are 16 plus because the trolling and all the unnecessary is way too much let the kid read a book let them kids have like a kitty social media you feel me let them have like a kitty social media why is she calling me right now she gonna have to wait y'all i'm gonna have to wait number 19 Parents need to normalize preparing their children for the reality of adulthood. Not just telling us, but actually showing us and showing us, you know, the positive effects and then the negative effects that can really happen that you really don't like. You know, a lot of us are visual learners. So you just saying like, better not mess up your credit. What's that gonna do? Like, no, we need. Cause a lot of us hit adulthood and we'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to move back in cause these bills ain't gonna work. These bills, me paying all these bills ain't gonna work. Mama, please let me come back home, please. Yeah. My 20th unpopular opinion is y'all make it hard for us to support black owned businesses because hold up 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 hold up, hold up. one y'all be unprofessional two y'all be undereducated three y'all be overvalued wait 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 and four y'all be scammers like i don't understand y'all be some real life scammers now, let's back it up, back it up, back it up to the overvalued part. I'm not trying to downplay nobody like putting a price on their work because, you know, that's cool. But if you, let me give you an example. If you're a nail tech starting out, you're just practicing, but you're charging people, right? But you're just practicing, you know, you're building your portfolio or whatever, and you're building your skills. Why are you charging salon prices when you don't have a license? And you're working out of your home and you're practicing. I don't feel like you should be charging salon prices when you're not giving salon quality just yet. Okay. You shouldn't be charging celebrity nail tech prices just because you had to use your material to do my nails. You shouldn't just price accordingly. Price accordingly. And sometimes people be failing to realize that you're not pricing accordingly because you expect me to pay you $500 for a wig and stuff, but I got to come in your house with your loud behind kids. I got to run to the store for you to go get this. You ain't got all the supplies, but you want to charge me salon prices? 
What? But if you're not gonna charge me arrogant tech prices and I'm not getting arrogant tech work, I'm not getting arrogant tech service. Do you get what I'm saying? Last one. This is a little bonus, you know. Razzle dazzles, you know. So this one is really facts. I feel like a lot of people can agree with me. It might not be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like a lot of people can actually agree with me. This professional look that people want us to have with like no tattoos, no long nails, no extravagant hairstyles, like this is professional. I don't understand how someone can put a professional appearance to determine your work ethics or your skill levels or whatever, like. I would not be mad if my doctor had a little teardrop right here. Long as you know what you're doing, I don't care. Whatever floats your boat, doc. Whatever floats your boat. Cause baby, yeah, I'm discriminating. Like I, I don't care if my doctor, if I come in and my doctor got his bottom goal is in. Do you doc? Long as you don't mess me up, long as you got that license. As long as you went to that college to get that degree, if y'all don't care, don't mess me up though. That's it. And that's what I said. Facts, no cap, baby. So let me know down in the comment section how y'all feel about this video. This was a little long one, but I feel like I definitely made it juicy and really laid it down on y'all. So yeah. Don't forget to follow your girl on IG at The Real Thursday, the one and only baby. I follow back. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Don't be mad at me about this video either.